In 2006, you co-authored a study of Iceland's financial right. system. Right. Iceland is also an advanced country with excellent institutions, low corruption, rule of law. The economy has already adjusted to financial liberalization, while prudential regulation and supervision is generally quite strong. Yeah, and that was the mistake. That turns out that uh, that the prudential regulation and supervision was not strong in Iceland, and particularly during So, what during led this you to think that it was? I think that uh, you're going with the information you had, and, and generally uh, the view was that that uh, that Iceland had very good institutions. It was a very advanced country. Who and they told were not, you that? Who did, what kind of well, research did you, you do? You talk to people. You have faith in in uh, the central bank, which actually did fall down on the job. Uh, that uh, clearly. It, this, um, Why do you uh, have faith in a central bank? Well, that faith, you, you, because you go with the information you have. How much were you paid to write it? I uh, was paid, uh, I think the number was, uh, it's public information. Uh, on your CV, the title of this report has been changed from financial stability in Iceland to financial instability in Iceland. Oh, well, I don't know. If, which, wherever it is, is the, uh, the thing, if it's a typo, there's a typo. I think what should be publicly available is whenever anybody does research on a topic, that they disclose if they have any financial conflict with that research. But if I recall, there is no policy to that effect. I can't imagine anybody not doing that in terms of putting it in a paper. You would, there would be significant professional sanction for failure to do that. I didn't see any place in the study where you indicated that you had been paid uh, by the Icelandic Chamber of Commerce to produce it. Um, no, I don't, you know. Okay.